Hello, and welcome to a 2 minute and 47 seconds guide on how to push the Construct Core, a special mechanic from Keep Construct, the second boss of the Stronghold of the Faithful Raid. Whenever your group kills 2 spirits on Keep Construct, breaks the boss's break bar, and then the group has a minimum of 2 people sit in each green circle, this mechanic begins. The core will spawn in the middle of the arena. This core can be pushed by any physical ability hitting it, meaning if you attack the core with your auto attack or any other skill that deals direct damage, you will move the core. The core can also be moved by movement and parrying abilities such as pushes and pulls. You can only push the core once per second with any physical attacks, but it can be moved infinitely with movement and parrying attacks. Your goal here is to push the core through the unstable lay rifts. Each rift you push it through, the boss will gain one stack of compromised in the upcoming burn phase, which will dramatically increase your group's damage to the boss. Depending on your group's DPS and the boss's health, you do not need to push the core through all of the rifts in order to phase the boss, but getting all 5 stacks of compromised on the boss will allow your group to blow the boss up. Typically, I only ever push it through 3 of the rifts because that is enough bonus DPS for most semi-experienced groups to phase or kill the boss. As you push the core around, there are 3 things you need to be careful of. The first are the retriever projections that spawn throughout the arena. They will chase the core and will destroy it if they touch it, so you need to push the core faster than they can reach it. Be aware that when they spawn, they will run towards the center of the arena and then approach it. The second thing you need to worry about is your teammates. While any of your attacks and skills can move the core, so can each of the other 9 players. The biggest part of this comes down to them understanding to fight the spirits far away from you to be careful of their own attacks. But you can help them as well when you first start pushing the core, go towards one of the rifts that is away from the group. Then the group can be opposite of you in the arena and move around as you begin to approach them. The third thing you need to be careful of is the boundary around the arena. Should the core be pushed out of bounds, it will despawn. This is a useful way to finish pushing the core and get to DPSing the boss if you only want to push through a few rifts. Good builds to push the core are any build whose auto attack is fast. You don't want someone with a slow auto attack. The most common build you see in charge of pushing the core is Druid because of Staff's auto attack. If you do play Druid, make sure you have your pet's auto attack turned off so it doesn't push the core somewhere you don't want it. Oftentimes, you will see the tank be in charge of pushing the core as well, which also sometimes ends up being a Druid. Heal Quickness Firebrand tanks are a personal favorite pick here because the Axe auto attack is perfect for pushing the core and you can also use our Shield 5 ability, Shield of Absorption, to push the core as well. You can also bring in other players to help push the core if needed, such as having a Firebrand with an Axe waiting at a Rift and pulling the core in with Axe 3, Blazing Edge. Though typically, this requires some communication, and it's not needed unless you are new, learning, and struggling with pushing the core. I hope this helped. Like and subscribe for more Guild Wars 2 content, and take good care of yourselves.